in a violent nature is a slasher movie. Now, at the time, I didn't know this is a Canadian film, which is probably why there's so much hype. Well, sometimes when I'm browsing my phone, uh, you get articles and recommendations about things. And since I live in Canada, a lot of articles were hyping up this horror movie. It's a slasher. The catch being that it's a homage to zombie Jason Voorhees. And the, the sort of twist is that you're following the POV of the killer. After a special necklace is taken from the gravesite, an unstoppable killing machine named Johnny gets up and starts going after anything that moves. So I didn't know what to expect for this film. I didn't know it was Canadian at the time. But it was also certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes and on RogerEbert.com. We got like three and a half out of four. So I'm like, I was really excited for this. You know, it looked like an old school retro. It's filmed 3-4. This movie, for me, is bullshit. Uh, it's just a really bad film, in my opinion. It's very slow, and the first kill is done off-screen. That, that, that worried me right there. But I think the, the main thing that sinks this film is not the 20 shots of watching Johnny trudge through the forest. It's the really bad acting and dialogue. The writing is just really cringe it almost feels like this entire movie is just you watching someone else play a slasher video game that's how simple and basic it is and it's you know it's got its gore and it's got a couple of cool kills but it really has nothing else because this is a, kind of a, an experiment you know we haven't seen a movie where you're just following the killer around and watching him walk through the forest and get weapons and sort of upgrade and walk to the next targets as they drive in a van or something it, it, the only you know thing that we've seen is a parody mockumentary called behind the mask the rise of leslie vernon which was pretty fun but this is just a slog to get through the, the, 20 shots of just johnny walking through the forest there's lots of filler some of the kills are done off screen in like an artsy way because maybe because of the budget but i just did not dig this film at all it took too long to get started and then the first kill is off screen you had a couple more kills, um, some nonsensical stuff, a little bit of backstory here and there, but the story is just so thin because in a normal slasher movie, you'd be following the teenagers and uh, they would be building the story through uh, their characters. So uh, if this was written a different way, it would be the teenagers, we are in the car with them, perhaps they're going up to the cabin to cheer up a friend or something, or like Evil Dead remake, they're stopping someone from drug addiction. And then they, you know, we get to know the characters and then they have the campfire story about Johnny. And then you could even have uh, the opening sequence be them going to the gravesite, but we don't, we don't see them in the beginning of this film. And it's hard to, that means the character development is, is shot because you're following Johnny and Johnny doesn't talk and you get one flashback about the necklace and that's it. So most of this movie is very stagnant and um, I do like the, the costume design and the gore is pretty good and... Uh, I like the idea of it. It's just the execution was all over the place. And there's just a, a, the ending of this movie was just one long car ride. And it was just a really strange film. No themes, really. And uh, yeah, the, the biggest thing was the video game-like dialogue. Um, for example, the opening sequence is Johnny walking around. And he walks into a field close to uh, a man shouting at a ranger. The two of them are having an argument. Uh, but they're yelling at each other, and normally Johnny wouldn't be able to hear them because they're like 50 feet away, but we get to hear the the dialogue in full, and it just really feels really campy and sort of play-acting, like a bad stage play. The dialogue is just written in a way that makes it really hard. And then the, the movie's tone is just all over the place, too, because sometimes the, the kills are, are funny, and you're not really sure if it's supposed to be or not, or is it supposed to be like a straight-up, violent slasher because they'll have a sequence where Johnny kills someone and then just starts hacking at the body for like five minutes. It's overkill and then some of the other kills are overkill but then some other kills are, are not shown so it's almost like you can't find a good balance right you're gonna show the kills or you're not gonna show them or you're just gonna show overkill to the point of almost uncomfortableness and it makes the movie really awkward in tone and uh, we don't get to really know the characters that well before they're axed and then yeah, mainly it was the dialogue. Whenever Johnny walks and he's spying on someone, you get to hear the dialogue in like full bloom, not whispers, not like muffled. And it's always like weird, awkward dialogue. It would be equivalent of you walking 
past the house and the windows open and the family's eating dinner and the father just all of a sudden goes Susie how was your math test and she goes why father I think I did rather well and it just it's like that for a couple minutes and then the scene ends and it just it almost feels like they improvised a little bit even some of the kill scenes are kind of funny and they're not I don't know if they're, they're supposed to be or not this movie almost feels like a parody of a slasher movie sometimes I didn't like that at all so overall in a violent nature horror fans will dig it but I, I just it didn't rub me the right way at all I just I didn't like the slowness of it I didn't like the, the shifts in tones I didn't like that I didn't it wasn't balanced uh, sometimes it felt cheap sometimes it didn't and uh, I just felt there could have been a lot more that could be done with this concept so I give in a violent nature of two out of ten.